what's up course ninjas this is amit again welcome back to yet another episode of coursecreatorhandbook.com and today we are going to talk about teachable and how to get started uh, putting your school on teachable so you might already have a course maybe on udemy or maybe you are thinking of investing in a platform where you can host your course so people can come uh, behind that gated content and buy your course or maybe even give a you have a free course that you want to use to collect leads so you can do that with there are a bunch of softwares out there teachable is the one i started with then i moved on to thinkific and now i have a course on each side on teachable and thinkific and i like both of them today we are going to go with teachable part one this, this is going to be a multi-part series we're going to cover basics today and then we'll get into more in-depth in the coming weeks so let's get started I have my details filled in here so when you go to teachable.com let me show you what that looks like let's go here teachable.com you will see this landing page and then on the top right corner you'll see the get started button you click that and then you can be you'll brought you'll be brought here so once you have filled in your, all your details, just click the get started button and that should allow us to log in. I hope I don't already have an account with this email. Let's see. Okay, and then on the next step, you're going to name your school. So this would be whatever it is that you're teaching would be the name of your school. So in our case, since we're talking all about creating courses, I'm going to see if Course Ninjas is available. And once you put the name in, Teachable will let you know if that name is available or not. And then here, now we are in, um, we'll walk through this entire dashboard. Uh, they do make the onboarding process pretty easy. It's a step-by-step -step checklist here uh, to get you get your school started. And we do have to confirm our email address. So let's hop on over to my AOL account. I will confirm my email and then be back. All right, I have confirmed my email account and I am back. Uh, we're back in our dashboard. So first thing, I'm going to skip the webinar part. I have already done that. It's a great webinar. So if you guys are new to Teachable, go ahead and sign up for it. It's free. And on the webinar, they kind of walk you through some of the uh, branding part of it and marketing part of your school. And I'm not going to watch the tutorial since I'm creating a tutorial. So we're going to skip that part and then we're going to go straight to customize look and feel. So let's go on to that. And this is where you will customize your school. So first things first is your site logo. On the left side here, you will see it's the theme part. So within that theme, these are all your options. We're going to start with the logo. I might have I'm just going to pick, uh, so they do give you some preset images. I'm just going to pick one of those and then you can always change it. You can create your own on canva.com or any of those other logo creation websites. I am going to just pick a random one. Let's just pick this crayon right here. And you should be able to upload your image fairly easily. Make sure you don't have any pop-up blockers that sometimes do restrict you from uploading. A fav icon, I'm not going to use it right now. And then homepage background, you can uh, have a background on your main sales page. So I'm going to go with, let's see, this one right here. Again, if you have your own images, they do recommend uh, to upload your own images we because we're doing this as a demo I'm just going to pick the images that is provided to me by teachable so background texture we want something light I'm actually going to skip the background texture part and then home page I'm going to skip this part home page background dark overlay this is basically how dark do you want your background to lay over so what they'll do is they'll put this image on your home page and then they'll put a layer of dark color on top of it and that's good if you have text which we all of us do on top of the image so it's easier to read the image 
and then since we didn't do a texture we're not going to worry about texture size so i'm going to click save here and then the next part is topography which is how the text what kind of text you're going to use i like meriwether or open sands those are usually good ones so i'm going to go with that and then finally the last part is the color scheme you can have your own color schemes you can put in the hex color codes which we have discussed in one of the previous videos but for now uh, in the interest of time i'm just going to pick a color theme and then hit the save button so that's it for the theme part and you can either scroll up and down or you can click any of these icons and it'll, they'll take you straight or the menu items and they'll take you uh, towards the bottom of the page so that's it for the theme part now we move on to domains uh, we're not purchasing a brand new domain like i'm not going to buy a dot com uh, you do get a free one from teachable the only thing is going to be it will say your school name dot teachable dot com uh, instead of just saying your school name dot com so i'm i'm okay with that because i'm on the free account and then the navigation let's click on that this one i usually don't touch this is where uh, teachable gives you the option to rename all the navigation tools that they have already preset for your school so like for example what would be the my courses section how would the url look like how would the all courses url look like and you can either delete that or edit that and then some of them you can either switch on or off you cannot edit it and then you can add your own links if you want it and any footer links so some folks in the footer put their terms and conditions privacy policy you can do that if you want it just click on add link if you're hosting your privacy policy uh, another website you can just link it out to that uh, so we're not going to do that either we the goal here is to get our course up and running so i'm not going to bog myself down with all these little details that really don't matter next is authors this would be you or if you have multiple authors then there'll be more you know as many authors uh, are in your course you'd want to put their bio and whatnot so we'll put my name here your course creator ninja jedi and then your bio data will go here who are you what have you done your image you just click the add image button and you can choose files i'm just going to skip that part too and if you want to x out of this window just click out somewhere and then here you can add more images you can add a custom html if you want you can add your links this text editor is pretty industry standard but play around with it see what you can do and then we're just going to click add author and that's part's done moving on to the pages part so these are the three pages that come out of the box with your teachable school and you if you wanted to add a new page you can just click on new page add it give it a title so this could be like the social media page where you can put in all your social media icons or links to all your social channels your facebook your instagram your twitter all of that can go in here and i don't want this colored header or blank template i'm just going to go with this click on create page and that page is now created and the page url is right here course ninjas course ninjas dot teachable dot com forward slash p forward slash social media so that's all set we don't have to worry about that now custom text is these these buttons right here again out of the box teachable has kind of figured out what if somebody logs into your course they they most likely have taken online courses and if not these are the things that they will see as menu items but you can change some of those words if you don't like the word login you can call it something else if you don't like the word sign up you can call something else so on and so forth same thing with the footer links you can change that if you want and also the checkout page is so there is a lot in here that you can change i'll let you guys go through it i have never changed any of this because it's pretty standard industry standard stuff and stuff that your students are going to understand so we're not going to touch any of that 
code snippets. So this is where you would put in your Google Analytics codes, your Facebook pixel, all of that will go in here. I am going to have a separate uh, section or a separate video on one on Google Analytics or just a little bit that I use on a day to day basis and Facebook pixel. And then power editor, I believe is not available on the free plan. You have to upgrade. So power editor is the advanced feature, which lets you make your school look more professional. Um, my personal opinion is if you have good content, it shouldn't matter. I mean, people are going to sign up for it. If as long as you can show on your preview that you do have really good stuff that you're teaching. So that's it for the site settings part of stuff, which was all of these that we just covered. Our next is transactions. With your free account, you do get a shopping cart, which means that you don't have to worry about going and buying a shopping cart to host how you're going to take payments. Teachable lets you take, take payments, uh, either connecting PayPal or Stripe, and we will cover that right now. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. And that's included in the free part, which is which is great uh, on tra in transaction is what you'll see. If people have purchased your course, you will see all those transactions here right now. Obviously, we are just starting out, so we don't have anything. Emails is the next one, which is from within Teachable. You can mass email your students uh, any communication that you'd like to have. So if you don't want an email autoresponder, which I do suggest you get. But if you don't want that, you're bootstrapping, you just want to go with all the free stuff, you can still get MailChimp for free. It's uh, up to 2,000 contacts, it's free. Uh, and So you can get that free account and then you can come and get the free Teachable account here. So the template editor lets you create email templates on the paid version, but on the free one, you'd be able to just simply write your email, make any HTML changes that you want and then you can send that um, For the email part we'll come back to that because we do need some dummy students in here in order to show you how these the email functionality works and Then down here at the bottom is where the magic happens your courses This is where you will create your course add your lessons add your downloads everything will happen here uh, your community commenting on your course everything happens there and that's where we're going to concentrate today so I'm going to go ahead and click on courses now it's going to bring us to a point here where if you're first starting out this is going to be blank so we're going to create a new course and we're going to name it learn how to create and sell your online course now, if you had multiple authors, you'd be able to pick which author is going to be talking in this course. Uh, so we're just going to leave it as me. You can add a new author if you want. Subtitle. Everything. And my goal is that by the end of this, I hopefully there will be no end, but on my YouTube channel here where you are watching, you would be able to learn everything you need to know to create an online course because I did not have anyone to teach me and I want to be able to be there for you and be al along this journey so we can do it together. And then down here, you just put a description on of your course. This, this course is for you if, and then you can just put your bullet points one, two, three, four, five, etc. Then you can kind of just keep creating the description part, lay it out, make some edits, add a horizontal line. You can just play around with the text editor. And then at this point, we're ready to click the create course button. So let's click that. And that's it. Our course has been created. But now we need to start putting, putting in the material in there, right? So this is what you've shown. This is the hierarchy. A section is kind of like a module. And within that section, you have lectures, which I like to call chapters. That's the terminology I am used to is modules and chapters, but they call it section and lectures, potato, potato. So 
the first section I'm going to upload my many chat videos in here just to kind of put something in there and I'm going to call this many chat tutorial okay you do have the option to bulk upload if you had a bunch of videos you can just upload them and I think it's um, let's see you can upload the files here we, we won't do bulk upload we'll do one by one so I have this module called many chat tutorial now within this module I want to add a new lecture so I would click on new lecture the first thing you do is you give your lecture a name so we're going to call this lesson one what is many chat and I just said the little green checkbox here so my name the name of my lesson is saved now I can add a new lecture if I wanted to and keep adding so I'm going to do that I'm going to add a second lecture here called lesson 2 why use many chat hit done new lecture lesson 3 understanding many chat demo so you get the idea now let's go back I'm going to click the back button here so now you see we have three chapters within this uh, three lessons within this module so now I'm going to do a new section actually no that's not what I wanted let's go back go back okay so I'm going to create a new lecture and that's not what I wanted either I don't want this new lecture I'm going to check it and hit this delete button here okay so I think it is the new section that I'm looking for so new section and this will be called many chat advanced create section all right so that's that again because I'm so used to modules I didn't realize it's called sections so the new section this one is called many chat advanced so now you have two modules and within those you have your chapters and in this I'm going to put a new lecture and we call it I'm just making things up as I go you can you know I'm assuming you know what you're doing uh, with your own school and now what I can do is I can go back and start putting content in there now you could do this one of two ways you could either obviously do it the way I did it or you create a new lecture add stuff in it move on to the next lecture add stuff in it move on to the next lecture either or so now once you just click on it you're taken into your lesson and now here you can add your a text if you want it you can add a quiz if you want it and then you can add a file so the first thing I'm going to do is add a video file let's go to choose files depending on the file size it might take some time for the file to upload and so while that's uploading obviously try to be patient um, let's see which one is the smallest one this one seems to be the smallest 102 MB so I'm going to use this and then once you have added your files just click the upload button and let the magic begin this is uh, where you kind of have to have be patient while it's doing its thing and I don't think you can click out here because it might stop the upload so I usually just wait here and I'm going to pause this video come back once the upload is complete so that we can move on okay so our upload is complete you can see here is the video right here and now what happens once you upload a video is teachable software on the back end is optimizing that video for playback so it does take a few minutes for that to happen again be patient so next thing here we want to do is enable comments on your video so I'm just going to click here and that's going to take you to this page where you just click on enable blog which then enables commenting feature on your videos 
Now let's go back to our school. I'm going to go back to our school here and continue with the curriculum page. Uh, so that was this one, lesson one. Uh, once you have published or once you have uploaded something that you want in there, let's say you wanted to add some text here. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment with your suggestions. Add text. So now when a student goes in, they'll see the text and then they'll see the video. As you'll see, there is no save button in some of the places, which means that the cloud hosted software is auto saving everything. So you don't have to worry about always hitting the save button. With your video, now you can up update the thumbnail if you want it. And if you have your own thumbnail, you can do that. I don't, so I'm just going to use a standard one from Teachable, one of their uh, stock images. And when thumbnail updated, refresh your page to see changes. Let's do that. Let's see if our changes show up. So you will see that it's Okay, there we go. The changes are there. You'll see that it is a lot of work to put in, but if you don't put in the work, you can't expect the results. Uh, so this is the part. This part is all done. We have added our video. We have added our text. Comments are now enabled, I believe. And then at the end, if you wanted to add a quiz, you can also add a quiz in there. And let's see what that looks like. If I click on add quiz button. So is the question the wrong answer all right so this is how it works uh you just it's a multiple choice question if you wanted to have a graded quiz you can upgrade your plan and every question would be one of the true or false kind of question. So you can say, you can pick which is the correct answer. And then you can just hit add question and you can keep going and keep adding more questions if you want it. So we have already added one question which shows down here. This is the question, here's the answers. If you wanted to edit that, you can just click the little pencil here and edit it to maybe say this is the correct answer and this is not the correct answer. Your quiz could have more than one correct answer. And we are not going to add another question. We're just going to leave it here. Now let's move on to pricing. This is a question that gets asked a lot in our Teachable Facebook group. When I say R, I am not affiliated with Teachable. I mean, I count them as R because I'm in part of their group. So within that Teachable group, uh, the question is asked a ton, what should I price my course at? Now, one thing that I have learned is your content or the, the volume of your content does not or should not dictate the cost of your content. The cost should come up with what is it in time savings that your students are going to get and where, where are they going to be after they finish your course. So I'll give you my example. We are uh, teaching students, our students, how to become a hotel general manager. So currently, they are not in a general manager role. So they're one step below, which is an assistant general manager. And we're teaching them how to make that next step happen, which means in order to get there, they need to, uh, if they take our course, they can take the shortcut to success, so to say. They still have to put in the hard work, but what's what's it worth to them to invest in their own career. Uh, the jump in salary is between fifty to fifteen to $20,000 a year. So that's a significant bump, right? Uh, so we priced our course at three ninety seven. dollars So our target audience, our ideal avatar is making around thirty-five dollars to $40,000 a year right now. So three ninety seven dollars might be kind of like a big deal because, you know, they don't, have that much money in the bank with only thirty-five to forty thousand dollars a year, but the promise is that they will learn the knowledge and be able to make that jump to make fifteen to twenty thousand dollars more every year for four hundred bucks. So to me, that's not a big deal. We have had a few sales, not a lot, but we're still pursuing that. We're pushing that on Facebook ads, 
and uh, being in forums. So we're doing everything we can. I did. Tr we did try dropping the price a bit to see if there'd be a bump, but that hasn't happened. So it's something tells me it's not the price. It's the audience and we are trying to hone in on that target audience. So that's my take on pricing. Uh, you know, do what works best for you. If there's a ton of courses out there that are teaching the same thing that you're teaching, then what's your unique selling point, right? You have to remember that and factor that into your pricing and what's the pain point that you're solving. Is that a big pain point that's going to save them a ton of time or a ton of money? One of those two things and you have to take that into consideration when pricing your course. So keep that in mind. That being said, we're going to do a one-time purchase here and I'm going to price this course at 67. So 67 bucks, that's the pricing I wanna put in. I just click on add pricing and that's it. We have priced our course. And then the next thing is drip. Uh, so drip is obviously not available in the free version and how this works is you drip out the content based on the completion of the previous content so let's say you have 10 modules and the first five are the ones that your students must take before they move on to the next one or they will never get they will never understand what that six seven eight nine ten means then you can drip it out so Obviously, this is part of the paid feature. Again, my personal take on this, we are in the Netflix generation. We binge watch everything. So I never like to drip out things to my students. But in some cases, this might make sense. Your course might be too technical and you want to force that path for your students to take, in which case drip makes sense. And if you want that, you can upgrade. Coupons is another thing that you need to upgrade for. Uh, if you want to give out coupons to your students, you can do that. And for that, you know, you can upgrade. Or if I go back to pricing here, I can add a new pricing plan to one-time purchase and do this, uh, let's say $57. Course creation A to Z learn everything you need to know so i can do it this way where i have two different pricing and maybe you can give out the d link to someone else or you can maybe create two courses price one different than the other and have two separate urls that way you can give one person a discounted price one person not the discounted price you can do it that way. There are few workarounds. They're not pretty, but they are workarounds. So I'm going to delete this second pricing. I don't want to leave it there. I just wanted to show you how you could do that. So that's the coupons part. Students, we obviously don't have any students in here. Once we did, you'd be able to see it. And let's go back here. Anytime you see that little arrow here, it means it's going to take you out of this section and put you in another section bundle content if you had more than one courses and you wanted to sell it as a bundle you could do that and you just click on add a course to bundle and this will show a second course that you might have had available so let's go ahead and create that before we do though i want to go back to our course here uh, and we want to set this from draft to publish so we want to publish this stuff so i, I just select it and i click on uh, is it this button here? Yes. You click on this little green checkbox and now your course is, or at least that lesson is published. So I can delete these two lessons, go in this one and say, put a text here. This is the advanced section. Congrats. You made it. Add text publish and that's it now if I go back all my lessons are ready my school is ready to go live but there are a few more things to do before we can make the school go live so I'm go going to go back to courses here and I'm going to add an additional course and we're going to call this course super advanced ninja stuff for many chat same author super advanced stuff 
same description this is the description and we'll create the course and then in this one I'm just going to put I'm just trying to kind of fly through it so I can show you how we can bundle courses together so I'm going to add text and that text publish the course boom we're done so now if I go back here we have two courses um, the super advanced ninja stuff we didn't price that course so let's go to pricing and I'm going to say this is also 67 bucks and now let's go back to our first course and now we can go to bundle contents add a course to this bundle add this one right here and just click on add course so now that first if you might be running a promotion that buy all my courses for 99 bucks or something uh, you can bundle all the courses into one mega course and sell that as a promotional item so that's part that part's done now let's go to the sales page here so this is where you can edit the sales page we already did part of it this is what our overlay looked like uh, when we added the background and then you can customize the enroll button I have never touched the enroll button uh, coupon banner if you had a coupon you wanted to say something you could do that so what else can we do author bio is here now you can move these sections up and down if you want it just drag and drop so again this would be the main page the landing page that your visitors are going to see so I would suggest you put a lot of time and effort in here I want my curriculum to be the first thing on top so I'm going to move it here I'm going to get rid of this course banner then the description is fine author bio is fine bundle courses is fine FAQ if I just if you wanted to change the FAQs you can click this little external editor are you sure you want to leave the sales page editor uh, actually let me hit save real quick and then do this okay so this is where you'll put your frequently asked questions how much does the course cost what's your refund policy blah 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 so I can just put in here what's your refund policy lifetime refunds for all that's it done and same thing you can drag and drop these uh, drop them wherever you like let's go back to FAQs I mean to the sales page so these are all the things that come standard course page closing letter I don't want that uh, again the enroll button should be in a few places so that people can kind of um, see those that call to action in all different places of your course now what if you wanted to add more stuff let's say you wanted to after the bio you want another block so you click just hover over any of these sections and you'll see this insert new block come up and if you click on it you'll have a bunch of options to choose from so I can either add a rich text block which is this right here this is called a rich text block or I can add uh, HTML code or liquid liquid is the language or kind of like a programming language that they use so if I click on that now I can insert my HTML code in here so maybe on your page you want some custom HTML stuff you can put that HTML code in here and it'll show up on your sales page and we don't want that another thing if you wanted to add background image you can have an image block here and then let's get rid of that and then there's a bunch of other sections if you click the little three dots here you'll see let's see if I can zoom into it a bit so these three dots right here hold on if you just click these you'll see there's a bunch of other options to choose from you have course hero header coupon banner blah 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 so you can select any of these things to show up so let's go with testimonials 
and uh, this this is the part I like about teachable is it's very customizable uh, the sales page you can make it look like an actual web page and this is all for free it's awesome uh, so this is already pre-filled I'm just going to add an image and let's see if we can find a person's face search I guess that's not an option to search here. Uh, let's do web images, see if I can find web images. Here we go. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming going out on a limb here that all these images, the web images are safe to use, royalty free. Uh, so I'm just going to assume that since I'm, I'm able to search for them. So that's how this works. Uh, this coupon banner is back uh, here. I want to get rid of it. Let me try to add that to the top here. Coupon banner. I just don't know how to edit this because I'm trying to click on it and nothing's happening. So there must be a different setting somewhere to edit this coupon banner because I'm not finding how I can edit it there must be a place here somewhere we'll find it on a mission so once you have added everything that let's add another testimonial here and let's find another image of face Let's go with this dude right here. Upload. And then, so you'll see what this looks like. And I saw something else that I wanted to try out here, which was the embed form. So you can have a form from your email service provider in here, which would be like an email capture form right on your sales page. So you could do that and you can connect with any one of these services or you can put in the embed code. So prefill embed code, if I do that, it prefills MailChimp's embed code right here. If you wanted to add a background, you could do that. Let's add a background. Here we go. So as you can see, I mean, without having any design skills, you can just use the stock images if you wanted to and start creating your stuff. Remember, just create, create, create. Uh, put it out there. Don't aim for perfection. Perfection is the enemy of done. And I've learned this the hard way. My wife and I were trying to perfect our course for so long that we finally put a deadline saying, okay, this is the day we are going to run a live webinar and we're just going to do it. So if we would have never done that, we probably wouldn't have been live. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Perfection is the enemy of done. Get it done. So I'm ready at this point for my sales page is done. Uh, so I'm going to hit preview and see what that looks like. Now, sometimes you might have to hit preview. Uh, if you make changes, they might not show up right away if you're also logged in as an admin. So go open a incognito window in Google Chrome and then put it, paste the uh, URL there. So here's what it looks like. Here's the course, here's the curriculum your menu here is a sticky menu what they call which you know sticks as you scroll down which is what I like this course is for you I don't like these social icons so we can find out how to get rid of them here's my uh, stuff or your stuff you're the instructor then right below that is some social proof that this works and another course is included with this package which shows right here and then original price, frequently asked questions, get started now, and then another one. And then if you, let's say your course was not launched, you're in pre-launch phase, you're still just trying to figure out if this is something people would pay for, you can put this contact form here, which looks beautiful and blends in and someone can just sign up. And on the back end in uh, Teachable, you have to make sure that your MailChimp account is connected with your Teachable account or this would 
not go anywhere. So you have to make sure that's done. And uh, yeah, so if your course isn't launched yet, you're just collecting emails to see if there's enough interest, you could use this email collection method. So this is done. Uh, it says here, obviously, your school is not live yet. To launch your school, complete the remaining steps, which we will do. So our landing page is ready. Let's look at the thank you uh, checkout page here. This is the part that puts Teachable ahead of its competition is on the checkout page. Having testimonials is huge because you're again showing social proof so that people at the checkout page, sometimes people get jittery, right? They're like, am I making the right choice with that credit card in their hand? We've all done it. And having social proof that it's just that final confirmation, just that little push that your students need to make that decision and go with it and purchase your course. So I would definitely recommend using this feature. And then you can also put some bullet points to kind of reinforce why this course is the right fit for them. So we'll put the bullet points here. Okay, bullet point number one, add another bullet point. And you can see on the right side, as I am doing this, you'll see right here, uh, it's showing you a live preview of as I'm changing it. All right, three bullet points is good. Hit save and it's going to update that preview and then up here is testimonials if you wanted to add those and then here is the awesomeness you don't even have to design now when i did my stuff i had to design all of this uh, this was just a year ago and some of the stuff wasn't available so thinkable uh, teachable i combined teachable and think effect to thinkable uh, maybe that domain is available and i should buy it uh, anyways so all of this stuff is available for free to use. So I'm going to select this one as a 30 day money back guarantee. Hit the save button here. If you had your own custom 30 day money back guarantee or 60 or whatever it is that you're using. If I change this to 60, I believe they should all update to 60. I'm not sure. Okay, it doesn't. But if you had a custom time frame, you could do that out of the box they provide you with a 30 day money back guarantee so let's just go stick with the 30 day because it looks pretty and now we can view this page see what it looks like copy this open an incognito let's do that paste the check uh, checkout page oh it, it's not going to show us because we haven't launched the course published it yet so let's go ahead and hit publish drum roll. So checkout page is published. Now I can preview it. We still haven't launched the school yet. It's just the checkout page that's been published. I guess it's not going to show me. All right. Let's just publish the entire school and see if that works. Before we do that, one last thing here is the thank you page. So the thank you page is the default page your students are taken to after they enroll in a course. You can skip that thank you page if you want it and redirect them to a custom URL or you can leave it as is. And you definitely want to put your Google Analytics and your Facebook code in here because this is how you track how many people actually purchased to then one, it'll tell you your goals, if you're meeting your goals, your KPIs, your key point indicators. And two, you can use your Facebook pixel to exclude those people if you're running Facebook ads to not show to those people who have purchased. And the only way to know that if it's included in your thank you page, because everyone who has landed on your thank you page has purchased the course. So you don't want to waste your ad spend on them again. All right, so we're good there. Um, we're not going to skip the thank you page. Now let's go back to the school here. Uh, we're going to click on this first course here. And 
there's a few more details that we need to go look at so you can click on the details button here which this is the stuff we have already filled out then there's SEO so if I go down further SEO stands for search engine optimization which means that is your course Google friendly can Google find you and the chances are for the first few months probably not even if you have written everything that you need to write on your sales page to make sure you have included the keywords that people search for it takes time for your page to rank on Google six to eight months is the norm so you're not going to show up on Google's first page anytime soon which is why we most of us have to advertise our course in the branding part you can have your own thumbnails uh, so you can upload a thumbnail in here a uh, featured background uh, so we saw the featured background on the main page of our sales uh, our course sales page so you can change that here let's go with this one and save it and let's go back to branding promo video if you had a promo video you could upload that which I highly recommend video is the way to go and then now you're ready to hit the publish button to publish your course and yes let's do it now let's go back to our second course that we had created which was the super ninja advanced stuff where is that course super ninja advanced stuff and now we need to publish that one same thing here we just click on publish course and we're done we are actually live so let's see what that looks like if I go to sales page I'm actually going to do this here I'm going to create a new pricing because I want to be able to enroll in the course for free to show you all right so I have an, uh, two pricing structures one-time purchase and free let's go back to the course and what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the sales page URL preview this I'm actually going to open this in incognito just so we can see what it looks like now right away uh, let me go back here your school is not live yet to launch your school complete the remaining steps I must have forgotten something in the admin section let's take a look all right so we create us uh, we have to set up our domain name okay so this is the domain that we definitely want to go with so I'm just going to click on confirm domain awesome your domain setup has been completed return to dashboard and launch your school that's the big button to press now here teachable will automatically bring you to choose a plan I'm just going to launch school with the free plan so you can go through all the plans at your own time and see which one is right for you we're just going to start with the free one your school has launched cool let's get to work that's right now the work begins so let's view your school now to go to my school what I can do is simply open an incognito window and in here I can kind of type right here course-ninjas.teachable.com hit enter and there we go that's what the course looks like welcome to course ninjas you have your this is the sales I don't think this is the sales page I think you have to click on the course okay here's the sales page so once they click on the course this is this uh, URL you want to use when you're promoting your course so that people land at the right place then this is the entire URL for your course not your main domain but within that domain if you click on your course this would be the URL that you want to use in order to promote your course so let's see what this looks like we have this our lectures here if 
I click on start, I'd be taken straight to the page here where I'd be asked to enroll to unlock this course. Let's go back and let's just go through that entire page, see what else was on there. Let's go back. This is our description section, uh, the author section, testimonials. What's the second course that comes with this? Frequently asked questions. Do you want to enroll in the free version or the paid version? So this is what your pricing structure would show. I guess we cannot use this as a workaround for coupons. So then they would be able to enroll in the course here, your students. And let's try this, see what happens if I do this. Get updates. All right, so it's not going to work because we obviously haven't connected our MailChimp account with Teachable. Now, one thing I'm going to show you here, you can make some of these lectures as a free preview to kind of give them a taste of what they're buying into. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me go into our course administration. Click on the course here. Select the course that you want to uh, do the free preview for. Then click on curriculum. And then let's uh, let's say this lesson one you want to make a free preview you just click on it and click on this little i and that makes it a free preview and just by looking in my dashboard here i can see that this is a free preview so now if i go back here and hit refresh you will see that i'll see the preview button here so now i can watch a preview see if this is something that's right for me as a student before i even buy into it so this one was taken on an iPhone video. That's why it looks huge. If I go full screen, this is their course player. This is what your students will see. And then once they finish a lecture or a lesson, they can just click complete and continue on to the next one. And if they're enrolled, they'd be able to see it. If they're not, they'd be asked to enroll. So that's, that's what it looks like guys from start to end. Uh, I want to just do one more thing here, which was the social icons. I want to see if I can get rid of it from my sales page. So let's come back to sales page here and see if we can find where they were. I didn't see any place here for social icons. So I don't know where they're coming from. We, another place we can look here is our admin section. So this is the plan section. If you ever wanted to upgrade to a paid plan, you just go here. And what we're going to do is go to the settings section. You can always click on the little question mark for help. And let's see if we have, so we have general settings here where it's school, lectures, your blog so you do get a blog with it which is awesome and the status so take my school offline if for some reason you want to take your school offline you could do that uh, and then let's go into payments so you can switch to your custom payment gateway that's available only on upgraded plans teachable pays out every 30 days which is normal taxes if you wanted to charge for taxes any notifications that you want to send to your students, you can do it in here. And this is uh, the next section is where you would integrate your email service because technically that's what you should be using to communicate with your students and automate it. Because the inbuilt email provider with Teachable, you cannot automate emails based on certain actions or let's say you just want to send out an email every other day. You cannot do that in an automated fashion. So. You can go toggle these on and off as you like. When a student enrolls, send them email. And then uh, Thinkific, uh, sorry, Teachable has preset email. So you, I recommend that once you have created a course, launched it, enroll yourself in it to see what kind of, what's the user experience before you start promoting it. So the next thing is plan. This is where you, we are on the free plan. You can upgrade to basic, professional, or high volume. And then the next is integrations. This is where, uh, so we can enable Google Analytics. You'd need a code. We'll cover that in the analytics section. I'm not a member of Sumo Me, so I don't have that. And then here are the other options, and looks like most of them you need to upgrade to pay. 
so you have to pay to play now if you don't need an email plan you don't have to worry about this uh, but i think we all do need an email marketing system webhooks is like zapier you can connect zapier to uh, have your school take some automated actions on top of what they already provide but again it's not available on the free plan and then labs is kind of like their experimentational stuff which might work sometimes might not work the others uh, so we can enable comments and so we have enabled comments which means anyone will be able to comment on your lectures and then if I click on my name here on the arrow I can go into these extra icons here instructor community if I click on that I'm taken to their Facebook group which I'm already a part of and if you are one of the people from the Facebook group please stop by and say hi in the group and then if you click on your name you're taken to your profile where you can do some additional settings here so if I click on settings in my personal profile I can change my password if I wanted to change my email address if I wanted to and then finally if I wanted to create a new school I can do that as well so that's it for this part of teachable uh, we are going to get into some advanced stuff in the next video watch out for that and hope you got a lot out of it again thank you for being part of this journey and being on my youtube channel make sure you hit subscribe coursecreatorhandbook.com take care and have a great day